Alright guys, what is up? I'm back with some more Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke. I left off last night, um, with a little bit of grinding. I'll show you guys what I've done here. Um, I got Goober up to level 9. I got Screech up to 10, Simon 10, and Mr. Squirt up to 15, with some very basic grinding over in this patch of grass in Route 31. Um, now we're gonna go take on the Bellsprout Tower, and face a bunch of monks who worship a low-level grass Pokemon. Look at them. Like, those are some very in-depth statues. Those must have cost a fortune. They look to be made of pure brass, also. Brass is not cheap. A bellsprout over 100 feet tall. People say that it became the center pillar here. What did they do to it? Look at it. It's still shaking. It seems like an odd spot for a bellsprout to be. See the pillar shaking? People are training upstairs. That's why it's shaking? These are like level 5 bellsprouts here. Sprout Tower was built long ago as a place for Pokemon training. It still is. Only if you reach the top will you obtain an HM. Oh, I'm gonna go get Flash right now. This dude, I walked right past Aang over here without him even knowing. Sage Nico. And of course he sent out a Bellsprout. I haven't run into a wild Pokemon here yet. I can totally catch it. Ooh, only level 3. I may have over-leveled my guys a little bit. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, because Goober's still doing absolutely dog shit for damage. You figure, I mean, a, a, a two-foot-tall <laughs> cocoon would, would be able to do something. I mean, he has eyes on the outside. How does that work, by the way? They wrap themselves up in the cocoon, the Caterpies, and then they grow an eye on the outside. They're still inside there, aren't they? Nah, we're gonna keep Goober out here. Tackle and Vine Whip, man. At least it's more interesting than hardening over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And over. Come on! Come on, Goober! So close, yet so far away. This Vine Whip is literally going to take all day. Goober is going to be the saving grace of this this uh, tower here. He's going to be the MVP for sure, because he can't take any damage. Alright, level 10, Goober! You all know what that means, and if you don't, um, you'll find out in just a minute. We're going to throw out Screech now, get him some experience. I kind of, I mean, when I was a kid, I always organized the team by, like, um, whoever is lowest level goes first, and whoever has the lowest health goes first, out of the ones that are the same level. I don't know why, it doesn't make any sense. Wow, holy shit, Screech, god damn. See, that's what I was expecting from, uh, from Goober over there. I fought hard, but I'm too weak. Yeah, a little bit. And then here we come, the moment we've all been waiting for. Time to blossom into a beautiful Goober Free. It's beautiful. Your Goober evolved into Butterfree. Do I learn confusion? Yeah, I do. That's right, son. How? Oh, at least his sprite finally changed. I don't know if you guys noticed before. Um, the sprite for Metapod was the same as Caterpie, like just a, a Weedle-looking motherfucker. It doesn't make any sense. I still haven't ran into a Pokemon. I would like to catch something one of these days. Bell, Bell, uh, I'm sorry, Sprout Tower, technically is a new route. And there's no wild Pokemon? I know there's Bellsprouts and Gastly's in here. We stand guard in this tower. Here we express our gratitude to honor all Pokemon. Mostly Bellsprout. <sighs> Why Bellsprout? Like, out of all the Pokemon, alright, there's gonna be... There was 251, I think, when this game came out, and they chose Bellsprout. I mean, I, Bellsprout isn't that, uh, that inspiring to me. Screech, get him! You know what Bellsprout's mouths are good for, Screech? Yeah, yeah, Screech knows. He's ready. He's gonna knock all these babies unconscious and use their giant gaping mouth holes for his own fun. Screech has a bit of a rapey vibe to him. I don't know why. No, 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 I don't really want to change. Let's go, Screech. 
how can he one shot that one bell sprout, but he can't he can't one shot the other level three bell sprouts that he's been fighting? And and you know I'm not seeing anybody battle up here either. I'm wondering like yeah, that tower downstairs is still is still shaking. Is it kind of like uh, if if the towers are rocking, don't come and knocking type thing? Because there are a lot of lonely monks upstairs, like four or five of them. So they might be doing something else besides uh, training Pokemon battles. They might be training something, but I doubt it's Pokemon battles. Ugh. Bad images, my friends. And then this guy's downstairs all alone, like excluded from all the fun. Chow over here. The thank you, he thanked me for whooping his ass. Weird. And there's an item up here. And X accuracy. Bunch of stuff that I always just sell and never ever use. What do we got down here? I could have sworn there was an, an enemy right here. Maybe I'll be a, a monk for a little while. Do, do, do. That's the kimono girls in Dancing Like. They don't really, uh... The, these, uh... Sway like leaves in the wind. These monks here don't really dance or anything. They just stand here and play with their bell sprouts. Ooh. Sage Edmund. What a weird, like, monk name. Why they gotta do that neck thing to me every time also? You see that when the bell sprout comes out and it's doing its little sprite animation, it's like wiggling its throat at me like, yeah, I, I can deep throat. Gross, like you're a Pokemon, I'm not into that sort of thing. Screech is into that sort of thing. Fucking pervert. But, you know, Mr. Squirt too. I mean, you know, we all know how, uh, what a deviant Mr. Squirt is, but... No, we don't need to change, we're gonna stick with Screech for a minute. See, look at that, look at that, he like closes his eyes too, like, oh yeah. My throat. <laughs> Screech, just just kill it. You don't gotta you don't gotta use two tackles, and that was a critical hit. If you die, Screech, I don't even know. I, I won't be able to do anything to you because you'll be dead. I'm not gonna have a burial for you, Screech. I'm gonna toss you into the lake. Quick attack. Ah, oh, that's nice. And we got another Bell Sprout. And I still haven't ran into a wild Pokemon. I was sure that there were Bell Sprouts or something in here, but I guess I'm just crazy. Quick attack. I like the quick attack animation in this one. It looks pretty sweet. Oh shit! Back to one hit killing people. Sage Edmund was defeated. Oh, I'm weak. Alright, let me switch it around here. I don't even think you guys have been able to see Simon battle yet. He'll, he'll get better. He's not up there yet, but he'll get better. And here we are, where all the lovemaking took place. Ooh, a potion, exactly what I need. I'll probably potion up before uh, before the final battle up here, too. I trained to find enlightenment in Pokemon. That's not why you're up here, guy. You can you can, you can can find enlightenment in Pokemon in any location in the world, especially with the Bellsprout. Jin, huh? But but you chose this this tower where four men hang up hang up by themselves all day. Let's go, Simon! Simon Cowell! Because he's the king of the beavers, the king of the beavers. You cannot deceive us and you can't fool owls. Hoot hoot. Damn, this is a pretty tough bell sprout. Toughest bell sprout we fought yet, my friends. Tackle! Tackle again, because that's all you know. 108 experience, goddamn. My training is incomplete. Yeah, dude. Everybody knows that your training is never complete. What you got for me, man? The Elder's HM lights even pitch black darkness. I'm still wondering, like, we have all this technology in the Pokemon world, but nobody has a goddamn flashlight. Just make a flashlight! You don't need to teach a Pokemon Flash. Use one of its valuable move spots for a move that does nothing beside, like, blind someone temporarily and light a pitch dark area. It's just not right. It's just not right. You can easily walk into a cave with a Charmander, its tail is constantly lit, and be able to find your way. But nope, you gotta use Flash. It's the level 6 Bell Sprout, this is taking me way longer. At least Simon's getting some good experience, though. Another tackle! Battling is so predictable in the early stages of the game. Tackle, 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 fine whip, tackle. At least I'm making some money. Alright, let's get this over with. Let me see how much you trust your Pokemon. It's a good thing we're not throwing Screech out there, because I don't trust Screech for shit. Like, I'm, I'm certain that he's going to be the first one to die. 
I mean, I'm hoping that I would love to make it through the whole game without anyone dying, but if it comes to... If I had to choose one that I think is going to die, it, it's Screech. Let's go, Simon Cowell! We could do, like, a... I mean, we already have Simon Cowell. We could totally throw Mr. Squirt and, um... And, uh, Screech into the mix and have, like, a Pokemon Idol up here. Simon already is a big asshole, so he could, uh... He could totally... He could totally judge people like Simon... The real Simon Cowell. And we're up to level 11 now. And I learned Peck. Alright, now these, uh, grass types are gonna be a breeze. But now a Hoot Hoot comes out. Of course a Hoot Hoot comes out now. I can't use Goober against a Hoot Hoot, so I'm just going to leave Simon out. Yeah, Hoot Hoot would wreck Goober. Use your Peck Attack! Finally, a different move. Foresight, huh? Identified Simon. I don't know. I mean, you know I'm going to use Peck next. You don't... Peck, peck or Tackle, like, if you're going to try to defend yourself against that, I mean, there's not much you can do. Uh, one more peck for the road, Simon. Get your beak all up in his orifices. Alright, Sage Troy was defeated. Yes, your trust is real. For for Simon Cowell, maybe, but not for Screech. No, I don't want to battle him yet. I wanted to use my potions. You are indeed skilled as a trainer. Ugh. As promised, here is your HM. But let me say this, you should treat your Pokemon better. The way you battle is far too harsh. Pokemon are not tools of war. Humph. We claims to be the Elder, but he's weak. It stands to reason. I'd never lose to fools who babble about being nice to Pokemon. I only care about strong Pokemon that can win. I really couldn't care less about weak Pokemon. Pedro used an escape rope. And there's an escape rope right here. So I don't have to walk through the, through the fucking Sprout Tower again. Alright, let me heal up with some of my potions so I don't have to go back to the Pokemon Center. And then we're going to whoop this old man and get ourselves an HM for Flash that we probably won't use for quite some time. Goober's going to start it out and take out the Bell Sprouts. Then, I mean, when their hoot hoot, or when his Hoot Hoot comes out, we're going to have to switch up the plan a little bit. But I think we'll be fine. I'm not too worried. I am kind of worried about Faulkner. I, I mean, he always gave me a bit of a problem, but... Look at that, they even got a... It's a powerful painting of a bell sprout. How powerful could it be? Oh, 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 finally a Pokemon. Holy shit, it's a Rattata. Oh my god. Of course it's a fucking Rattata. Out of all the Pokemon in this area, I don't even want it. If it doesn't kill it, I'll catch it. But if this move kills it, I'm not going to sweat it because it's a Rattata. Oh, okay, well fuck, I'm, I guess I'm getting a Rattata. God damn it. Why? Why? Like, it could have been a Bell Sprout. Could have been a Ghastly. I've never even seen a Rattata in this tower before. Oh, great. I have a Rattata. Uh, now I have to name it. This Pokemon's impressive vitality allows it to live anywhere. It also multiplies very quickly. Duh, it's a mouse. It's a rodent. Uh... Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. He's gonna be named after one of the most iconic mice of all time, Speedy Gonzalez. Not XX, Gonzalez, booyah. Alright, buddy, let's get this over with. I guess I should probably put my stupid Gonzalez up front. Wow, he survived that with one health. God damn. Might as well start getting Gonzalez some health. Rapido, rapido, arriba, arriba my best uh, Mexican impression for Speedy Gonzalez. It's not very good. You don't need to you don't need to comment or judge about that. I mean, uh, I, I understand. So good of you to come here. Sprout Tower is a place of training. People and Pokemon test their bonds to build a bright future together. I am the final test. Allow me to check the ties between your Pokemon and you. The final test. You know what that means, right? After this battle, the game's over. Game over. I have eight badges. I've beaten the Elite Four. I've beaten Red. I've done everything. There's nothing else to do because I beat Sage Lee. With his fucking bell sprout, his level seven bell sprout. Go, Speedy Gonzalez! And I'm gonna switch you out right away for Goober. Go 
growth. Of course he uses growth. He's getting ready to, to try to thrash Goober's anus, but it's not going to happen. Because he's going to be so confused, he's going to thrash his own anus with his own growth. Hey, look at that. Perfect. Good job, Goober. Do -do -do -do. Awesome. Sage Lee is about to use Hoot Hoot. Will Cowboy change Pokemon? Yeah, we're going to go back to Gonzalez, and then I think we're going to go to Screech. Uh, I'm not really sure about going to Screech, but we're going to give it a shot. If anything, we can always switch to, to anybody else. But I just got to... Maybe Simon. Yeah, I just got to get Gonzalez a little experience here, because I just got him. Why Why did it have to be Rattata? Why couldn't it have been a goddamn... A goddamn Bellsprout or a Hoot Hoot. I could have dug a grass Pokemon. That would have been super handy. I'd have a more balanced team, but instead I got a bunch of normal types up in here. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll level them up. I'll take care of them. I'll, I'm sure I'll grow on Gonzalez here, but it's just right now I'm kind of I'm kind of pissed. Oh, Hoot Hoot, you'll never be as good as Simon Cowell. Not my Simon. Both Simon Cowells. Both my Simon Cowell and the real Simon Cowell. This Hoot Hoot will never be as good. Just keep on using that. There, quick attack. I'm like lightning. And of course you survived that. One more time, Screech! Attack him quickly. Come too quick. Alright. How did that not level up Gonzalez again? He's only level like 5. Another Bellsprout. Gonzalez! I remember the first time I fought this guy, I was expecting three just high-level Bellsprout. That Hoot Hoot totally threw me for a loop. Alright, Gonzalez, I have no faith in you yet, so I'm just going to put Goober back out. Goober! You're my all-star right now, buddy. It's not very effective, and now we end the battle. All right, Mr. Squirt, Goober, you know what to do. Oh no, Screech actually, not Goober. Goober's a, a nice lad, but but Screech and uh, Screech and Mr. Squirt are gonna have their way with these Bell Sprouts right in front of their trainer, right in front of the Sage Lee is his name. Yeah. Ah, excellent. Cowboy got 320. No wonder the Sprout Tower is still here. All these people go and battle these trainers who are weak as shit and get a shitload of money. You and your Pokemon should have no problem using this move. Take this Flash HM. Do, 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 do. Flash illuminates even the darkest of all places, but to use it out of battle, you need the badge from Violet's Gym, which also never made any sense to me. Like, it's a goddamn CD that I shove in, you know, whatever orifice of my Pokemon I choose, which of course it's going to be anally, and then they were in the move, and I just, I don't, I don't know why I need a badge to, to do that. Alright guys, so that was the Sprout Tower. Um, we got a new addition to our team. That's the wrong button. Mr. Gonzalez. Uh, Goober turned from a lowly Metapod to a beautiful Butterfree, or a Gooberfree as I'm probably going to call him quite often. And uh, that's about it. Um, next time you guys show up, we'll probably take on this Violet Gym right here. Just says Gym on it. Looks like a very shady place. I might power level uh, Gonzalez just up to the rest of the guys because, I, I, I don't know, I'd like to not have to switch out um, Pokemon in the middle of battle every five seconds. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.